Okay, I believe recording is live. Um, so I will welcome everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Leanna Davis. Um, I am based in the United States and I am the chair of the Wikipedia and Education User Group. Um, you are here for our first open meeting of 2021. Um, it's been a while since we had an open meeting. We were just discussing that at the at the start that we sort of fell off of our uh, regular uh, open meeting um, routines at the end of last year, but we're excited to, to get these going. Um, and as usual, we'll follow a fairly similar agenda to past meetings if you've attended them. Um, we'll go around and do a quick round of introductions, and then I can provide a little update on what's going on with the user group. And, um, and then we have guest speakers who will come and present on their work. And today we have Masab from Jordan, um, who will talk about his work in education at Hashemite University. And we have Zico, who is actually also one of our board members, but he will present um, on a new ethical standards project um, that he is undertaking. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I will start with introduction here. Um, and I'm going to go alphabetically as you are listed for Zoom on my screen. Which means we start with. Muhammad. You want to say your name and if I've pronounced mispronounced it and where you're from. Mohammed, can you unmute and share? Okay, maybe not. All right, Geert. Yes, uh, good evening. I'm Geert van Pamel. I am uh, a president of Wikimedia Belgium. And uh, yes, I'm a long time uh, uh, Wikipedian since 2005. Welcome, thank you. Hannah. Uh, hello, uh, I am from Wikimedia Ukraine. I'm a new member of a team especially hired to, to manage educational and uh, programs and the GLAM in Ukraine. Uh, it's my like seventh work day, so I'm very glad to join and listen to a lot of things you were talking today, especially interested in ethic uh, in our the Wikimedia job. Thank you so much, Hannah, and welcome to our movement. Um, we are always glad to have newcomers, and um, I personally think the education group is one of the, um, the the best subsets of the Wikimedia movement. Not that I am biased on any of that, but we're glad to have you here. <laughs> okay, Jackie. Oh yes, um, it's Jackie Musio. Uh, I'm working with Wikimedia Mexico. And very happy to be here and listening uh, from news to from Zico and Mossad. And we are working in a new um, course, Wikipedia course for my university. So maybe we, um, I hope uh, you, you get good news soon from, from this course and really happy to be here with you all. Thanks, Jackie. Joao. Hi everyone, this is Joao speaking from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm, uh, I'm part of the board of Wikipedia and Education. I'm also the current chair of the Brazilian Affiliate. And I'm an enthusiast of Wikipedia and Education in general, having been a Wikimedian for a very, very long time now. Good to see you all. Okay, Melissa. Hey, everyone. Hey, I'm Melissa. I'm hey Jackie. I'm based in Trujillo in Peru. And uh, hey everyone, I'm part of the education team at the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, so I'm, I can only join for for a brief uh, time, but I'm excited to hear about uh, everyone's work and see see your faces. Thanks, Melissa. Masab. Yes, uh, this is Musab Banat. Uh, I am a, a Jordanian physician and I feel Wikipedia. I joined Wikipedia in December 2013 and I'm very passionate about Wikipedia education program, which I started in uh, Hashemite University in Jordan in July 2017. Okay, thanks, Musab. Susanna. 
Hi everyone, I am Susanna from Armenia. I am the founder and uh, uh, chair of Wikimedia Armenia. Also, I am uh, in the board of uh, Wikipedia and Education User Group. Um, I, I involved uh, too much in education, uh, um, um, involving a, a Wikipedia, uh, creating articles in schools and universities. We have several um, memorandums with, uh, um, with uh, several universities. And so uh, um, just uh, recently we um, uh, ended a finished uh, internship program with one of the universities. And now it's, we started with another university, the same program. Um, that's what, uh, what, hi everyone who, whom I didn't uh, see uh, was, um, almost um, several years. <laughs> it's um, very good to see you, Geert. Most up. Uh, others I saw uh, through the online meetings. Hi, and hope uh, we will meet uh, more fre frequently. Okay, thanks, Susanna. Vico. Mm -hmm. Oh, the last in the alphabet. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, great to see uh, some faces again and to meet uh, new people and some even very new, so very much welcome. I'm Zico van Dijk, I'm the secretary of the user group, and uh, I would like to talk a little about, about ethical <coughs> questions because we just don't do enough in the movement and, well, about you will see later. I'm a historian and a linguist by education, and now my attention has shifted more to media studies and wikis and wiki theory in general from a human, humanities point of view. So. Okay, thanks, Zico. It looks like we had a couple people join us. Um, I saw Galib introduced himself in the chat there. So Galib, do you want to say something verbally or is the chat good? Okay, we'll just assume the chat introduction is good. And then um, Irene, do you wanna share, uh, say hello and where you're from? Uh, good afternoon all, uh, I'm Irene, I'm a, uh, a pharmacist uh, from Jordan. I work with Mosop, uh, we are same in the same university. Uh, I'm editor in Arabic Wikipedia and ambassador for Wikipedia education program. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for joining us. Um, Melissa, I know we were planning to skip the agenda item you guys had brought since you're here. Do you want to jump right into that before you have to leave or are you imminently departing? <laughs> no, that's okay. I can, I can introduce the topic. Um, Sounds good. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so yes, uh, I think uh, some of you might be aware that uh, in the wiki space, the education team has been, uh, and the education community has been documenting their activities and, and projects and, and making announcements using Outreach Wiki. Uh, I'm just pasting the link there. And uh, right now, Outreach Wiki is mostly uh, only used by uh, the education community and but also the GLAM community. Um, but we don't have, but we know that, for example, a, a much um, used platform for coordination and for project engagement uh, and outreach in general is usually MetaWiki. Uh, so we are thinking what would be the the up, um, yeah, the, the, the ups and downs of migrating the content from Outreach Wiki to MetaWiki, or maybe mirroring the content. Uh, what is, uh, is is it worth it? Is it an endeavor that that we should uh, that we should embark on? Uh, uh, how can we hear more about what people are using Outreach for? If 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 it's something helpful, or if it just makes more sense to to be in meta fully. Um, so 
so yeah, so this is something that we want to start a, a dialogue about. And uh, I just wanted to briefly uh, bring this to the table. So, you know, like we don't have to talk about it right now or, or discuss it, just something for you to, to, to think about. And, um, and yeah, and, and we can continue having this conversation in the next open meeting as well. Uh, but yeah, but that's something that I wanted to that that that, that we wanted to propose uh, for the community to to start just just thinking about. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Liana, for that. Of course, if anyone has any preliminary thoughts, how should we share them with the education team at the foundation? Thank you. Yes, uh, you can send me um, send us a message. Uh, I'm gonna leave the the email address here. So it's education at wikimedia o r uh, org and uh, and if you want to if you feel more comfortable reaching me directly uh, i'm leaving my uh, my email address as well which is m guadalupe at wikimedia.org uh, so yeah so just feel free to shoot me a message if something comes to your mind thank you okay thanks melissa um, so typically we do a quick update from the user group before we dive into the agenda items, but I knew Melissa had to leave the meeting early, so we switched that around a little bit. Um, let me give you kind of an overview of what we have going on in the user group, and then we can move into our two guest speakers. Um, so the user group took a bit of a break over the new year and the holidays, and we're just kind of gearing up for 2021. Um, I think many of you are aware we had planned a year ago to, to have a in-person EduWiki conference 2020 in um, Belgrade, Serbia, which uh, has been postponed as part of the COVID pandemic, um, as well as everything else um, for in-person meetings in our movement. Um, and so I think the, the education user group board is still very committed to having an in-person conference. We really see the value of connecting face-to-face -face with people and providing opportunities for less structured conversations and things like that that can happen in an in-person environment. And so we're still very committed to hosting that conference um, whenever it is safe to do so from a global health perspective. Um, so uh, that is not, we, we are not looking to make this a virtual conference. We still hope to have it in person um, at some point, perhaps in 2022. Um, so we'll have to kind of see how that um, how that plays out. Um, it looks like Philip has just joined us. Hello, Philip. Philip is another one of our Hi. board members here who um, it will, would be the host of the the in person conference. Should we um, end up having it, so it was perfect perfect timing for you to join here, Philip. Sorry to be late. In Belgrade. <laughs> no problem. Um, some other things that, that we are working on, um, Zico has been spearheading um, the topic that he will discuss in detail later, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but um, starting to discuss kind of some ethical standard documents around um, education program efforts, and um, I personally have been really impressed with what he's come up with so far, I think it's a great topic for our community to engage in. Um, and then we're, we have started talking about potentially kicking off some kind of um, mentorship program this year where, where we could identify some of our um, existing education program leaders and some of our new education program leaders perhaps or somebody who's trying to scale a program or something like that to, to pair people in a mentorship environment to enable um, enable and foster more connections between um, our education communities globally. Um, and so look for kind of more information on, on that in the coming months and perhaps um, in future meetings as well. Um, and any questions on that? Looks like Joao had a question for Melissa in the chat about the outreach wiki. Um, Melissa, are you still here? Yes, I was actually typing the, the response. Ah, so great. Don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. And any questions on the update from the user group? If not, I will turn the floor over to Masab. And um, Masab is joining us as our first guest speaker, and he will talk about um, his excellent project over the last several years at Hashemite University in Jordan. Okay, Masab, the floor is yours. 
thank you very much and uh, allow me to share the screen uh, with you i just want to um show you um well uh, i'm happy uh, to join you and uh, a simple introduction uh, uh, to myself my name is musa banat i'm a jordanian physician living at in zarqa jordan um, and uh, currently working as a teaching and research assistant at the Hashemite University Faculty of Medicine. Um, I'm, uh, I established an educa the education, the education program at my university, the Hashemite University, in uh, July uh, 2017. And since then, we have um, a huge progress. Uh, and uh, um, I wanted to refer to a presentation that I have uh, um, um, introduced in Wikipedia and education conference in Basque Country, San Sebastian. I will go uh, fast through this uh, uh, presentation uh, just to let you know um, um, our new uh, new um, advances. So this presentation mainly it talks about the history of the program, uh, and this um, uh, slide is like uh, my story with Wikimedia, which is pub published on the Wikimedia blog. Um, I, I, I joined Wikimedia movement through Wikipedia Zero program, uh, which, uh, which is um, um, a program that offers internet for people who don't have um, a stable internet connection. And uh, this is where, where uh, my city, Zarqa, in the Jordan, Jordan map. It's just above Amman, the capital. And this is the logo of the Hashemite University on the right. Um, an overview, uh, Wikipedia education program uh, at the Hashemite University is one of the largest uh, um, programs in the Middle East. It, uh, it includes tw uh, two, uh, tw uh, 12 faculties uh, involved in the university, and uh, uh, we have uh, a very good statistics. We have... Uh, um, a page on Wikipedia education, uh, oh, sorry, event and program dashboard. And uh, uh, we have a very good statistics. We have uh, more than 3000 article translated. We have more than um, uh, around the 30 billion page views. And we have uh, also translated, uh, contributed in translation of uh, um, a very important topics. For example, WHO list of essential medicines, which is uh, uh, one of the most uh, important medication used in any healthcare system, as well as uh, contributing to the translation of uh, um, um, two important courses at the Hashimite University. One of them was the first aid uh, um, course, uh, which is, you know, very essential for, uh, for our, uh, like, um, our days and also for, uh, we have contributed in translating uh, during the, at the start of the pandemic, we started a, um, a campaign to translate articles uh, regard, uh, with regards to COVID-19. We have translated more than 300 articles about uh, COVID-19 pandemic. This is just a, a, an old picture from the uh, dashboard and shows uh, how many, um, um, how many uh, articles we have created and uh, some statistics. Uh, I will be sharing with you uh, later on the, uh, the updated link. So uh, uh, I just want to highlight that education program uh, can be uh, started in, at three le levels. The first level is the student level, which is the, the, the most difficult one because the student, as you know, have uh, very little permissions and that's why um, he is like trying to get the, uh, uh, the permission of, uh, uh, down, uh, from downward to the board of, uh, at the, to the top of the pyramid. Uh, administrative development. Uh, but the easier uh, way is like through instructor level because instructor has uh, the, um, uh, the total uh, um, like um, dominance over his uh, course and he ha can take uh, um, decisions with regards to that. And the most easiest one is a uh, uh, administrative level, like when the, when the decision comes from the university administration. So we have, uh, um, just as a quick uh, overview, we have uh, been through four stages, or four phases of education program. The first phase was uh, early in 2015, uh, before we established the club. It was just like I was going to the sessions and talking with the, with the students and uh, tell them 
uh, about Wikipedia, but that was not specific. We were not reaching the the uh, the go uh, the goal and the the specific uh, you know uh, uh, interested audience. Uh, th then and that was like um, a difficult start, but uh, we have been progressed through the second phase in which my university professors like start to be interested in 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 Wikipedia and uh, like taking the, uh, it as a part of their um, uh, syllabus. And uh, at that time, I have received uh, like an invitation to give a, a presentation to the Dean Council. Um, and as you know, the Dean Council is the highest uh, um, uh, authorized uh, legal body inside the university that can like uh, issue and orders uh, with regards to, uh, um, you know, activities or marks regards to, to voluntary uh, work. So um, at that meeting, I introduced Wikipedia, um, and I will go through how I did that and how persuade my university to apply the um, um, the program later on. But uh, at that uh, meeting, I was able to uh, 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 to persuade the university to allocate the uh, about 20, 20 marks uh, from the from any course uh, to be counted as uh, you know contribution by writing Wikipedia articles and. And at this meeting, the program was uh, was um, generalized over all the fa uh, the university faculties, around 18 faculties. Uh, but the in real involvement was from 12 uh, faculties of them. Uh, by the end of 2017, the third phase was we started an initiative uh, uh, through a student club because we think that if we start um, um, a formalized body that will help us to gain a financial support from the university because the the university gives each student club uh, 1000 gds uh, jordanian dinners per year and the 1000 jordanian dinners is like more than 1000 uh, us dollars like 1200 us dollars or, or such a thing just to have a general idea and this uh, budget is able to be increased if you increase your activity uh, so um, we uh, after we founded that job uh, that, that club sorry uh, we started to increase our activities and to give the students uh, certificates for their contribution and also we were able to uh, uh, give them some gifts like uh, mugs that have uh, wikipedia logo and the Hashimoto university logo and the fourth phase was uh, um, when we um, signed, uh, invited uh, uh, Catherine Maher, the executive director of Wikimedia Foundation, to our campus to um, like to formalize our collaboration in uh, in a long time manner. So I will be like uh, just um, like highlighting some ideas about uh, every phase. Like phase one, as I told you, that what I was talking with the students, but I was not reaching the specific audience. So as you see in this picture, when you are like asking a question. Uh, uh, with a very large number of population, nobody like feels that the question is directed to him. But when you go to the directed uh, students or uh, in uh, like interested students, you will have a good result. So the first phase was not very uh, like very good results. I remember just one article. We had just one article, and I have just one student, female students from the pharmacy, uh, one of the Arin colleagues. Uh, and this phase two, when I start, if you see the picture, I was talking to the dean council about uh, Wikipedia program at that time we we were not having the dashboard it was like we are using the education ex extension which is like um, like uh, Mm, less developed than the dashboard. Uh, and this phase three, this is the logo of our uh, student club and uh, uh, from which we started um, um, uh, to, to uh, start our work in, in a formalized way. So this is phase four, phase four, when we invited Catherine Mayer to our campus and through this uh, MOU, it opens to us uh, a huge opportunity to uh, expand our activities in that uh, we have taken um, uh, an order by this uh, MOU to um to uh, to apply the education program for five years forward. So uh, I just by, by this step, I was aiming to uh, prevent any kind of administrative changes that might like for nonsense reason to like um, uh, stop or uh, herald, um, you know, uh, stop or um, like uh, prevent our education program from progress. So this was the first part of the of the MOU. And there is um, a post by the Wikimedia Foundation about this MOU I, I will be sharing with you later on. Uh, and uh, also one of the this uh, of, of the um, statements of the uh, of this MOU was that we established a um, um, corner for Wikipedia in the university library. I started the 
um, collecting materials uh, reg uh, regarding education program and different aspects of Wikipedia and printed uh, them by a donation from the foundation uh, uh, to have a physical books and brochures and publications in this corner. Uh, uh, fortunately, we finished the, the preparation uh, for this corner, um, but uh, like that was by the start of the COVID-19 and we were not able to officially you know, open it. But, uh, uh, but it's still available for uh, our administrative members. We go uh, sometimes meeting there and also the foundation have uh, provided us with, um, with a laptop uh, through the hardware donation program in that we can learn students, teach students how to edit Wikipedia. And the uh, Hashimoto University was very supportive in that uh, they allocate for us the, uh, the corner at the third floor of the uh, university library and they give us uh, furniture and also they um, give us internet connection as well as they uh, like I suggested the one of the statements of the of the MOU was like um, creative one uh, in that we uh, added the wiki source wiki source to to the uh, to the library search engine because when when some student come and he didn't find a book like physical book inside the library uh, it will give him a message that you can find you can search for this book on wiki source and and this will increase the the flow to wiki source um, well so uh, this is the picture from the, this is uh, some information about the memorandum of understanding. And this is a picture from the corner uh, and the laptop. And uh, I'm just, uh, from this point, I will start to talk about uh, the, the fifth phase, which is the most developed one that we have started. Uh, in, uh, in 2018, 2019, I have met with uh, uh, King Abdullah of Jordan, King Abdullah the second of Jordan, and uh, I have introduced uh, to him Wikipedia. I have been given a chance to talk with him just for two minutes, and I was able to um, deliver a very short and very conclusive uh, um, speech about um Wikipedia, which is available on YouTube. Um, after this speech, he was very interested and uh, like eager to uh, to help us to um, um, to um, like um, to support education program in all different universities. So after this um, uh, this meeting, um, there was uh, um, kind of uh, um, collaboration with. Uh, um, uh, Jordan Academy of Arabic Language, which is uh, a formal body that is uh, related to the Prime Ministry of Jordan, uh, with the, with the highest aim to to support and. Uh, um, highlights the importance of Arabic language uh, uh, in, in, in all fields and with the specific um, interest in online uh, enforcement of Arabic language. So uh, we had a meeting and we have wrote um, uh, like um, a memorandum of understanding, but not yet signed at that time because it uh, I just wanted to share with you some, you know, logistics. Uh, uh, the Royal Court of uh, uh, the Hashimoto Royal Court, which is a body that uh, connects the um, the population with the king, uh, have like meeting uh, two meetings with uh, meetings with me. Uh, one of them, they coordinate a meeting with uh, the Jordanian Academy of Arabic Language that I have already um, uh, talked about, and the second uh, um, meeting was with the. Crown Prince Foundation. Crown Prince Foundation is is a nonprofit foundation in Jordan, which which has many interests. But one of the of them was uh, an initiative um, um, created or started by the Crown Prince uh, um, Prince uh, His Royal Highness Prince uh, Hussein, uh, the son of Abdullah uh, the second, and uh, this initiative called Dad Initiative. Dad is uh, Dad is a specific letter from Arabic language which is, does not exist in any other language and this this initiative is concerned and interested in uh, improving the Arabic content so it sh we share with them like the the purpose and the goal uh, although they don't work specifically on Wikipedia but they just they are they have been very supportive so uh, after that meaning we also write uh, initial MOU uh, after one year of uh, you know uh, 
uh, like negotiations and uh, uh, sending formal uh, messages to them. Uh, we like um, around uh, at the beginning of um, COVID-19 pandemic, like a year ago, uh, we have signed the formal uh, MOU with both of them, uh, with, uh, with the Crown Prince Foundation, with the uh, Arabic Academy, Jordan Arabic Academy of Language, Arabic Language, and also with the Hashimite University. So it was a, a, a tertiary um, memorandum of understanding, like three parts and uh, three bodies. And this uh, MOU uh, allows us to, um, to, to create uh, monthly opportunities campaigns uh, that allow uh, all the population to join and edit Wikipedia. And I will just uh, like um, give you some information about these campaigns. Uh, we have the benefit, like with collaboration with the Crown Prince Foundation, they have many platforms. One of their platforms is called Nahnu, which means in, translated in, in English as us. This platform, uh, are like um, it collects all the volunteers from all different parts of the country. So it is a, a national volunteering um, platform that all Jordanians who are eager to volunteer can join it. And through this uh, platform, we can announce for uh, opportunities or uh, campaigns to translate articles. So since May, May uh, 2020, we have started a monthly campaigns to translate different topics of articles. One of them, as I told you, was about COVID-19. And there is many, many different one, uh, many, many different uh, campaigns campaigns the uh, the campaign for this month uh, will be uh, was about uh, uh, cars and this next one will be about um, um, about uh, uh, what we call like uh, the 100th anniversary of uh, kingdom of jordan and um, like uh, as, as i told you like we are like uh, approaching one year with uh, with the Crown Prince Foundation and uh, um, Arabic Academy of Language, which uh, the Arabic Academy of Language support us in terms of review. They offer review for like featured articles, uh, lang linguistic review and uh, review with the translation because they are specialized in, the, in those fields. And um, uh, we have made, uh, in co collaboration with them, a very short video uh, that also I will be sharing with you in the chat later on. Very short video that tells the uh, volunteer how to edit Wikipedia and uh, in, in, a, in a very professional way, um, how to create an article. And also we have made a, a specific video in, in a very specific um, kind of editing, which is editing from mobile, which is very rare. Like um, I am one of the few, maybe among the, uh, the Wikipedians who have all their edits from mobile. So we made that video and he has a great success, like more than 8,000 views. Uh, although we are just a, like a local club in uh, in Jordan, we have uploaded it to, to YouTube and it has, uh, we have uh, very like interactive comments. Uh, uh, this slide is just uh, a news from the Wikipedia Education News, which is like highlights our history uh, of education. Hashimite University continues its strong support of education program activities. And this is 45 students help enrich the digital Arabic content. And uh, as um, uh, we like before the pandemic, we used to um, create a celebrations, uh, uh, organize the celebrations that uh, the university administration, uh, represented by the president of the university, was like attending them and giving the students uh, courage and giving them gifts and giving them, uh, you know, certificates. And this is one of the pictures of the celebrations. Uh, this is another picture. So. Uh, what else uh, we do? We do th we uh, we we work on three other aspects. Which well, the first one is the voice article. We have uh, created uh, up to now three voice articles, like recorded articles. One of them about the Hashimite University. Uh, one of them about lymphoma, and another one is about uh, Queen Rania um, of Jordan. Uh, we also. Um, support students in creating novels. So uh, during our um, my journey, like six years in the university, I was allocating my time to um, uh, to give a role model for the students uh, in terms of Wikipedia. So we um, uh, recruited the students who have special special interest in literature, and uh, uh, we have published with them on Wikibooks uh, uh, around three or four uh, novels. One of them. Uh, named uh, Love and a War, which is uh, written by, uh, written by um, 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 
um, a student uh, from the faculty of um, nursing uh, called uh, Lara Hwayt and another one uh, written by uh, another student from the faculty of economics named uh, um, Shadar Rosan. It, it, uh, its name is uh, in the garden of my heart. I'm translating from Arabic. So uh, it all uh, those uh, novels are uh, has many chapters like the first one uh, by Lara Hwayt was around uh, 40 chapters or such and also we create videos one of uh, such that uh, videos i told you about uh, what we can do uh, together is just a highlight of our role as a club in in the wikimedia movement uh, collaboration we started a collaborations with different uh, uh, um, wikimedia chapters and user groups one of them like um, some of them are binjabi arabic ilakat which is like relation between uh, arabic community and uh, binjabi community we translate articles about their culture into our language and they on the other side translate articles about our culture into their language and the other one was Arabic Bengali cultural exchange program Armenian Jordanian cooperation and Arabic Serbian collaboration uh, along with other ones what's the benefit of this collaboration and what's the idea behind them yeah, the idea is that as you might know um, not necessarily that every one of us know the language of uh, the other so for example I don't know like uh, the French language or the Armenian language but uh, the native uh, Wikimedia Wikipedians of these uh, those languages know exactly how to write of them so we uh, we like um, bridge the the translation or language difference gap and uh, allow them to write about our culture and by their languages and we write about their culture in our languages in that we uh, increase the ties and uh, mutual ties and also we uh, bridge the gap of translation uh, this is a picture of the Binjabi Arabic Ilaqad this is a picture of Arabic Bengali exchange and this is from Armenian Jordanian and uh, this is uh, just a picture from the dashboard um, and this is just a video from the dashboard just highlighting how many courses we have uh, we have around uh, um, uh, up to now we have uh, I believe more than 30 courses in the university so far. And um, as I told you, I'll be sharing with you um, uh, some information about uh, the recent um, the, uh, event and program dashboard. Uh, this is just a video highlighting our activities. Um, I just wanna bypass it. And um, thank you very much uh, for listening. Um, uh, other thing that I want uh, to share with you just quickly is our like um, uh, report. We have recently finished translating our Arabic report, including all our activities from um, the start of the club and up to now, which is uh, which I have shared with uh, Leanna and uh, Zico. I uh, I also uh, uh, wanna post it uh, soon on on the Meta so that everybody can have access to it. I just want to um, um, go th very quickly about uh, through it just to show you how many courses we uh, we have like uh, um, uh, in uh, in this uh, in, in 2017 I'll just will go read the uh, titles of uh, of uh, courses just very quickly energy and its resources curriculum where there was added like uh, 24 thousand bytes a skin moisturizing curriculum which is uh, a syllabus of um, uh, in the faculty of pharmacy uh, um, 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 dietitian um, syllabus, which is uh, um, uh, a material in uh, study, uh, teach uh, teached in taught in um, uh, the Faculty of Allied uh, Medical uh, Medical Sciences, Advanced Cell Biology, which is uh, a very specific uh, course for the master program. So we are not working just with a bachelor degree program. We also work with um, with a master degree program in both faculties of um, of uh, biology and faculty of uh, chemistry. Uh, the benefit of working with master uh, students is that um, they have a wider um, a wider view of uh, citation and uh, you know academic writing and this has to do with uh, with our way of writing like uh, supporting uh, every information with a uh, with a resource so uh, also they help us in translating uh, journal articles for example a nature journal 
uh, like uh, um, publish um, um, uh, articles uh, regards, uh, regarding biology and those students translated uh, like academic articles, which is a new thing in Wikipedia. They, they don't uh, like translate uh, or ordinary article, English Wikipedia article, they rather translate a uh, journal academic article. And we have uh, uploaded some of them on Wikinews because they were like um, scientific news and some of them integrated them to Wikipedia articles. Communication skill uh, um, course, which is in it, which was in the faculty of uh, nursing, a clinical laboratory skill in the faculty of uh, medicine, respiratory anatomy curriculum in the faculty of medicine, bioinformatics in the faculty of biology, wireless networks in the faculty of engineering, computer engineering, computer network and uh, networks, uh, network uh, syllabus, which is in uh, the faculty of engineering as well, chemical research methods, which is, I told you, this is the master degree, information technology. So as I told you, there was a very um, large large um, uh, um, uh, array of uh, um, courses. So we were not like uh, concentrated on, on one or two faculties. All the university faculties has contributed with you. Not to be boring, I will not go uh, in details for every um, uh, course we have started. Uh, just like in 2018, just a quick uh, um, overview. We have a translation uh, course, a technical translation course. This is this is um, uh, um, a material that it taught in the um, uh, language center of the Hashemite University. So, so we get benefit from this. Uh, the, the student used to translate like uh, written books, like pages from written books, physical books. But uh, as you know, uh, this was just for exam purposes and uh, no any other benefits from the, the, the information. Uh, and in general, the assignments in this uh, course or in any other course was just like put in the disk of the of the professor or the teacher so uh, by sharing it and converting it to wikipedia now a larger amount of population and readers can get benefit of, uh, of it and also we has a specific um, course in child be bearing uh, in the faculty of uh, infancy and uh, childhood at the Hashimite University, uh, cellular biology, different, different, many different courses up to 2020, which we, as I told you, we have started uh, um, collaborations like with DOD, as you see, like number nine DOD initiative, uh, number nine curriculum of articles, translation about Jordan, many, 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 many topics, not just uh, Jordan, uh, cars, we have also about physics, many many different and this is the um, uh, like uh, more than 17 uh, courses just in 2020 uh, so thank you very much for listening um, and I'm sorry for being uh, so quick because you know as this topic is uh, detailed uh, and we are uh, we are talking about four or five years so it's hard to me to to summarize in in, in in a very short time and i'm open for your questions thank you so much masab that was a really impressive presentation and um the work you've been doing is is really incredible and um you know very much uh impressive congratulations to you and Irene and everyone else who is um is leading this work in jordan so Thank you for your efforts in there. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Thank about you very much. Masab's work. Last thing I want to mention is yes. that. Uh, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, we applied for uh, the Jordanian voluntary um, uh, um, competition. It, it, uh, it contains more than 200 uh, voluntary bodies in Jordan, and we won the first uh, um, rank on this, uh, on this uh, competition along all the kingdom. I will be sharing with you also the video. Great, thank you. I guess I do have one question for you, Masab. I think I heard you say that you had translated 300 COVID-related articles um, into Arabic Wikipedia. Were those medical articles or sort of, can you talk a little bit about that? Or a list of these articles, because it's uh, uh, too much. Masab? Oh. 
looks like we might have lost Musab there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad he was able to finish. With a PET scan, oh, PET scan tool. Uh, uh, do you hear me? I'm sorry, because- Yeah, you, you dropped off there, so start over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just said that uh, um, uh, we have different topics. Uh, some of them uh, are medical. Uh, examples are WHO list of essential medicines that I already mentioned and COVID-19 articles. Uh, those are medical articles, yes. And uh, we use the PET scan tool to extract those articles from English language and uh, give them to students to translate. Um, but uh, not all of them. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we lost Musab again there. Okay. Musab, are you there? I'm sorry, bad connection. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Musab. Joao, did you have a question? I do. I'm not sure if Mossab uh, is Mossab uh, listening to us or is he down? Can you hear us, Mossab? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Joel. Okay. So, could, yeah. Could you repeat the question, please? Oh, no, no. I didn't make it. I was just making sure you're able to listen yeah, yeah. to us. So, I, uh, I have a question about. Um, uh, this document that was signed, you called it a memorandum of understanding between the WMF and the Hashimit uh, University. I'm sorry if I'm missaying the name. And I wanted to understand uh, the role of this moment. So do you think this signing was to some extent the ratification of work that was already being done some extent, the, the, the result of years, I can imagine the number of years of investment that uh, went through, I don't know, the creation of this education program, or do you think this was a document that sparked new collaborations, new activities? So what was the role of this document and the, and the, the impact this kind of understanding has for the activities you do? Well, thank you very much for the question. This is a very good question. Actually, the, the, the aim of the, of the memorandum of understanding was two aims. The first one was to the preservation of the already accomplished uh, uh, progress because it is very common in Jordan and in the Middle East when the university administration changes, the, the, the new president come and erase everything uh, of the pre previous uh, president policies. So the, the previous president was very supportive of us. Uh, he, as I told, like support us financially and logistically. Um, he gave us also um, rooms to, to, uh, to, um, to do celebration, to train students and such and such. So this was like, uh, to the one first one was preservation of, uh, of uh, what is already have been achieved uh, and not just for one year, it was for five years. So I, by this decision, I like make sure that nobody can come and just erase by a uh, sign of um, a paper my work. And it also opens a new collaboration. So one of them was the canvas, uh, the corner for, of Wikipedia corner. Uh, Wikipedia Corner was a new Wikipedia Corner war, was a new um, uh, establishment in the university, and also uh, uh, the Wikisource ad being added to the uh, to the search engine, which is very. Looks like we lost you again, Masab. Well, I'm glad yeah, we got really. most of the question answered. <laughs> okay, thanks. Maybe if anyone else has other questions for Masab, you can put them in the chat. Just oh. the second part of my... I think we lost you again, Masab. I think at this point, given the technical difficulties, let's move into Zico's part of his presentation. Um, Zico is... Okay. Oh. programs yeah are you are you able to hear me no why don't you put it put your answer in the chat Masab, so we can yes, uh, yes. we can since we keep losing you so and zika will start his presentation about his thoughts around um the ethical standards 
Yes, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, most are very impressive uh, what you have been doing the last time. So um, uh, wonderful. Um, about ethical questions, uh, a number of years ago, I have uh, published a paper on ethical questions with regard to um, Wikipedia research. For example, when you see all this content online, including all the discussions, uh, are you free just to use the content for your research or are there moral constraints, for example? And uh, now when it comes to education, I thought, I think a lot of people uh, have already encountered it when you're doing something with education, with the school class, for example, or with university students and a Wikipedia or a different Wikimedia project, um, you can run into problems or dilemmata and uh, something maybe we as a community should talk about. Um, so in general, of course, everywhere where we are, we do not want to cause harm do not harm, but uh, what exactly is harm that can depend on what we are actually doing. And the, the goal of a school or another educational education is of course, that students learn something. And if they don't learn something, you're doing something wrong, or it's unethical because you are stealing the time of the, of the students. And on Wikipedia, we have a totally different goal. Wikipedia means we produce content. And if you are, well, we have some fun on the way, but uh, otherwise we are simply not using Wikipedia in a good way if we're just chatting and arguing, but not creating content. That's the whole point of it. And sometimes I have the impression that both goals don't work together. Sometimes they do. Uh, you know um, how some educators, Wikipedia educators say, it's a win-win-win situation when your students write articles for Wikipedia. And sometimes I ask myself, who exactly is that third win? And yes, can there be, can there be a trouble because of these divergent goals? And I'm very sure you all of, all of you have already met those ethical problems. And um, when we have a a discussion in the movement, I'm, I'm very sure a lot of topics will come above the water we haven't thought about uh, yet, or we haven't collected it. So I give you some uh, examples. What could be a problem, an ethical problem with Wikipedia and education? For example, should learners be allowed to edit a public wiki directly or should a teacher or a facilitator act as an intermediate? So also consider the age of the learners. Is it a good idea if they simply directly edit Wikipedia or should the teacher be the one who's editing depending on the age and other factors? Or what can be there for conflicts of interest? Is it acceptable, for example, when a teacher asks the students, write an article about our school or our institution or someone you know so you can imagine immediately what kind of problems that would give. And maybe there's a student who doesn't want to do that for moral questions, for having read the Wikipedia help pages, but the teacher is insisting. Um, who should decide on the grades? So sometimes you see that a professor tells the students, hey, write the Wikipedia article and you get extra points or you, you get your points at all your credit points only if your article becomes a good article or a featured article. So when it has some label from the Wikipedians that is an excellent result. And uh, is that acceptable? Is that morally acceptable that they are, those professors are outsourcing that kind of work to Wikipedia? Because Wikipedia is not, um, the Wikipedia volunteers, they have no training how to do that, how to deal with the students and give them a kind of fair and appropriate grading. And that's absolutely not the point of those candidacies for featured articles. Uh, or for example, should learners or teachers or organizers be required to announce the educational activities to the Wiki Wikipedia community prior to the beginning of the activity? So if you do, writing articles for Wikipedia, do you have to announce that to the community before? And now think of English Wikipedia, which is a very large 
wiki with a lot of people and many things happen there. But what about a small wiki, a community with only five members or, or 10 people who are regulars on that wiki where a couple of dozen new articles can be quite an, an, a disruption of the work. So <laughs> did I have, oh yes, and this one, um, how do you deal with that? Imagine a learner has misbehaved, a student has misbehaved on a wiki and is banned or blocked, cannot edit anymore. So she can no longer participate in wiki, uh, wiki editing as part of her student's assignment could cause some problems. And finally, imagine that there is a learner's article nominated for deletion. So you have the student and the student wrote an article and yeah, article deletion discussion. And then you as the teacher, should you engage in that discussion? Because, well, you are not totally neutral about it. And your goal is to find arguments that the article is notable and it should remain on Wikipedia for the sake of the student who would be very frustrated and disappointed otherwise. But yes, that, that's, that's a dilemma, you know, in, in, you're not a neutral um, uh, discusser in this discussion when it actually is not about the happiness of the student, but it's about creating good content and deleting what has to be deleted. So there's an intersection of Wikipedia or other Wikimedia wikis on the one hand, and on the other hand, you have the goals of the educator, and sometimes they rhyme and sometimes they do not. So, and my thinking was, I would like um, to have a very large discussion with many people from all corners of the movement, uh, very much uh, Wikipedians who who are very often in, in deletion discussions, wonderful. Uh, teachers or people from a university who are making a concept for such plans, etc. I would like them to come and share their ideas and the topics, maybe their solos. And uh, I would think that that alone, collecting all those ideas and ethical, ethical questions you can think of would be a wonderful progress for our movement. And the next step, I think, would be um, we from the EduWiki uh, user group make a kind of working document that is, is sort of having a summary or that is um, dealing somehow with that content so that we have a kind of document, maybe with rec rec recommendations or be best practices or a statement on ethical questions. Uh, some document that can be useful uh, later for other people in the movement and for people from the educational world. And finally discuss the working document so that we in the end have something that we can present to the world as, well, what is this now that it would be a document useful for everyone who wants to conduct something with education in Wikipedia or other Wikimedia wikis, meaning that you can go through it like in a checklist or that you are inspired or that you are warned or that you somehow think about it what you're going to do and well what you are going to do that is your own responsibility it cannot be a binding document but i think it would be useful for a lot of people to give some guidance because they may never have thought about it so and uh, that would be i don't know how to call the document that would be the product, the final result, and um, maybe all those discussions and all those ideas that came up in collecting ideas, they wouldn't fit in that document. But if we can preserve that somewhere as an archive and uh, a place to read about all these ideas from different people, that alone would be wonderful. So um, I have presented this idea to uh, my board colleagues and um, I was having the idea of presenting a plan. So I would like to make some kind of plan about that. And then having different phases where we collect ideas and then sum it up and et cetera. So that at the end, we will have the final document. And then we would uh, inform you via the mailing list and other channels about the plan and that we are going to start with that. 
So I would uh, be excited if we could start with it this year and also um, maybe that's an idea of me that we would have a first phase or in this year that we talk about adults, including university students, and maybe the next year about minors, but because people who are minors were not 18 years of, uh, of age or whatever is the restriction in your country, those are very complicated uh, extra questions who are another layer on, on that. And that would be something different, but I would like to start that conversation. And uh, yes, here I'm presenting the idea to you prior to making the plan, because I would uh, like to have the occasion to, to uh, hear from you what you think about it. Does it make sense? Do we need it? I mean, we do not need another code of conduct, yes, that already exists. We don't have to deal with all those topics that already, well, already exists, but uh, to talk everything about that is very specific about Wikipedia and education to help people eventually. So I am um, most welcoming your ideas or warnings, and uh, you can share them here. Uh, you can discuss about it or send us an email or reach me on a wiki. So this was what I wanted to communicate to you. And I hope you are as excited about the topic as I am. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nico. I think that was a good overview of uh, the work that you've put in. Um, does anyone have any current um, or immediate thoughts that they would like to share with Zico? There will obviously be plenty of other opportunities for uh, comments and feedback along the process, but we welcome initial thoughts now. maybe to inspire others, I will share a thought. <laughs> um, so I think um, some of the things you were talking about, Zico, in terms of the, um, you know, how do we understand this in the context of deletion discussions or good article, featured article, like are we asking the community to do, you know, the teacher's jobs for us or something like that. I think those are something that certainly um, in my education program, we have struggled with over time. And, um, you know, I think we've, in fact, moved away from even suggesting um, participation in things like good article and featured article, because it felt like outsourcing uh, assessment to the community when that was not, you know, actually appropriate. Um, so we reserve those for very special cases where students do truly exemplary work instead of it being kind of an option that um, that we bring up to everyone and let professors decide, we actually uh, proactively decide on that. And so I think as a movement kind of thinking around some of those, you know, how what is the correct um, correct way of doing this, you know, for the community is a, is a good question for us as a community to grapple with. And so um, this is not a question to stay, uh, not a question, but a comment, um, but uh, something that I'm, you know, excited to, to see happen more. Hey, Joao, it looks like you have a question. Yeah, yeah sorry again, you know, I'm a trained journalist, so if you ask people if they have questions and no one has, I have so many questions because I was trained to ask questions, <laughs> then I would jump in. So Zico, thank you for the presentation. It was um, good to have, I guess, a couple of minutes long uh, overview of what you've been thinking on. And I have a couple of questions actually. So the first one relates about the use of the word moral and the idea of morality, because I would uh, assume it's more uh, use, usual to use the word ethics and ethical, so a lower level understanding of what you are suggesting. And there have been uh, some uh, actual developments or practices to create ethical engagements with Wikimedia projects. And I guess one of the most um, well-known one is uh, 
is uh, with PRs. So in the US, there have been an ethical uh, guideline or the development of ethical guidelines for how PRs can engage with the Wikimedia project. And, uh, and in, even in science, we often use the word like the, you, yeah, an ethical committee, more like than a moral committee to assess the kind of activities you do. So I, I, I'm a bit confused about the, the word moral here in the sense, because I, I see it as like it's a higher abstract word than basically the one that is more used. And so I guess these are more philosophical questions. And a second question is about how you are understanding, I would say the round trip, round trip uh, assessment of what you are proposing. So what are the ethics of Wikimedians when they interact with educators because all your examples were from the other side. So how educators have to engage with the community and what about the other side? Are you considering it? And what do you think should be understood? Because I, I do think that at least from the community I come from, often there is uh, and some part of it is it's Wikimedians biting new buys, but there is a, a sort of misunderstanding of education programs from the perspective of Wikimedians. And I think these guidelines actually should work both ways. So that would be uh, one, one idea. And I think another aspect that I think is interesting for what you're saying is, the kind of discussion here, higher end discussion you are proposing is actually useful, could be useful for guiding the architecture of the technologies we use to track and control this kind of our education programs in general, including the outreach dashboard. As uh, I would say there are developments that could be thought of coming from the discussion you are leading here, especially in providing more information on program pages that could uh, lead the community to better understand the context of an education program and eventually a page in which, eventually this already exists on English Wikipedia, but not elsewhere, uh, in which all education programs are made visible and then in a structured way, I know in Portuguese Wikipedia, we do have some automated edits coming from the dashboard they are, but they are hard to track from the perspective of the community. So this could actually generate a, a better sense of the tools we need to develop for education programs. That's it. Wonderful, yeah, I, I, exactly. That would be the input. Uh, that, that we so desperate need and uh, so of, of, I thought of some of them but then you, you talk about uh, the dashboard with which you are tracking people and uh, anonymity students minors and even if you have uh, students have fantasy names well quite often you can recognize the people if you know them in the school class so yes indeed all this is coming together well morally some on some level it becomes a moral question what I let students do or how do I behave as a Wikipedian but if we stick with ethical uh, you're absolute, absolutely right then we are on the safer side uh, yes indeed Wikipedians I think they also should be um, heard and what are their sorrows and what do they want students to behave like but also yes how what can we reasonably expect from a Wikipedian, um, for example, not deliberately disturbing something, for not attacking uh, students in the process when they are still on the user pages domain and have not even published an article in the article namespace? Uh, are you allowed to interfere and when and why as a Wikipedian with the educational work of someone else who has prepared a thing who knows the students and uh, yes, would be okay 
if you say, if you are a Wikipedian and you see there's um, problematic content coming in, are you allowed to send an email to the student via, via the wiki mail? Would that be appropriate? Well, you cannot even know how old is the student sometimes, you know, and then you, you are, maybe you are harsher than you want to be to a minor. And uh, all these things, and, and, and maybe you see undetected educational work, you think, hey, what the newbie just wrote, I think he is a student, or he belongs to some educational thing. How do you deal with that? Um, is, is there a place to report that or to, to, to try to contact the teacher or something like that? And yes, as I said again, should it be mandatory that we only want educational acti activities using our platform in certain ways and announce it before? Why should they? Why not? Anonymity and, and some people might fear to tell in advance uh, that they are going to do something. So these are maybe uh, the paper, the document is not going to say directly, you have to do this or you can't do this, but at least giving you the idea that there is a problem and you should think about it. Um, yes, the architects and the technologies, um, I'm, I'm very sure that there are people who know much more about that would come up with those ideas and, and, and the dashboard. Yes, um, I've been, I had some conversation about that. I actually never use that because I think when my students want to keep editing, they will send me later an email and say hello, but okay, yes. So actually it's, it's, it's all about what are the processes of education, what you're doing in the course, and what are the processes of being productive on Wikipedia, writing an article, and how the processes work, and where can there be problems where you have a good intersection or a wrong intersection. So yeah, I'm talking too much, but well, this is exactly the input I would be very happy to hear. Yes, indeed. Okay, thanks um, for the question, Joao. Jackie. Yeah, just thinking out loud um, with all these ideas. I'm, Please, I'm yes. imagining um, a series of, or a collection of vignettes or commented vignettes, because it's, it's really casuistic. The, every case is special and it has some details around. So this commented, as, as you were doing right now, a commented story, a commented case. And then we can see that maybe I'm going to find as a teacher these problems uh, in my way uh, and just be prepared. No? But commenting all the, all the aspects around a case. And that will be very interesting, I think, uh, aside the, the um, an ethical seminar for educators <laughs> thinking about these uh, stories. And also the dashboard, it's been great uh, to me because it it allows us to follow a process and finding out uh, problems ahead. And I think that's, that's very, very useful. I'm waiting for the dashboard in Spanish because that will be um, a huge help uh, to my work. But um, yeah, the, both, both things, the dashboard and a collection of vignettes is what, what comes to my, my mind right now. No? And, and I think it's an excellent idea reflecting about these uh, ethical aspects. Mm -hmm. Yes, wonderful, thank you. Uh, I'm totally for the dashboard and I see the advantages indeed, yes. I could imagine that there will be some points when, well, it's not exactly a we who is saying that, but maybe there can be a point when a teacher wants to do something with Wikipedia, has nice ideas, and that uh, she will read the document and see, well, actually what I was planning to do seems not to be welcome on the wiki. And that could be, of course, there could be clashes also when we are talking about the working document that some people say, hey, but well, what do you expect from me to do this and that? And I can't do this and that. So that is disturbing my work. I cannot have a meaningful lessons uh, for Wikipedia if I'm not allowed to. So I'm also interested in that clashes and that, that controversies that can come and, and dashboard and other technical means, wonderful, let's include that, yes. Okay, thank you, Zico. Any other questions? 
Uh, I would like to uh, make one comment, Zico. Yeah, um, can I? Please do. Uh -huh. uh, Zico, I think uh, you uh, maybe it, it uh, would be better to interview some of uh, educators who are doing educational programs in Wikipedia and uh, uh, just uh, record them and then analyze and uh, I can talk a, a bit more but uh, not uh, too much here but uh, uh, what problem we face or what uh, what we do for uh, to solve this problem uh, or not uh, do so, uh, so good uh, th thinking uh, i think uh, yeah. to have a good um, um, guideline or something uh, um, you need more uh, more experience uh, not only yours or my or another. That's yeah, my in, indeed. Uh, yeah. I am um, ready when you want to talk about it. If uh, indeed, Susanna. So. Um, uh, your experience, for example, so with all you have done in education, um, I, I'm not totally sure in what, in which way, in which format uh, we are going to do that. If we ask people to take videos of themselves, and uh, I could have mentioned to have a list of questions, a typical question that make people think about um, uh, something they have met themselves and know from others, for example. Uh, Yes, but uh, if you are researching this problem, uh, you can listen many uh, many educators or many uh, Wikipedians who do educational programs, and then uh, analyze and uh, maybe not only you, uh, educational user group uh, board maybe. Uh, can join and uh, do some research. It's a possibility, yes, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, it is, uh, for me, it is an uh, interesting program. And, uh, we face many problems and uh, we solve uh, sometimes good, maybe sometimes not so. Uh, I don't know, for my opinion, it, uh, good solution was, but maybe uh, um, another person uh, think uh, other, in opposite way, opposite way, or uh, that's why I think uh, it will be good if uh, you have more uh, more position, more, more uh, views. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed, wonderful. Thanks for the input. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I saw something from. It, uh, I yes. uh, to, uh, to, um, I uh, was listening, but today uh, your presentation was, uh, was great. That's why I <laughs> I'm glad to um, be involved in this. In this. Okay. Yes, wonderful. Yes, I um, I, I saw something from Jackie on the chat. I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, the ORES analysis is about the edits that are coming in, isn't it? And about a an, uh, deep analysis of the article that comes up with a, an inform or a checkup, previews the publication, at, and it's an, uh, um, um, an alert to the teacher that, that there's something, maybe Liana can explain more yeah. something. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So, so cool. ORES is integrated into the dashboard um, in a way that you are able to see the change in the ORES ranking over time for articles edited by students where um, ORES has been supported by that language. I was actually just looking up on MediaWiki to find it looks like Spanish is not there yet um but let me this is the link here and 
I remember, yes. Yeah, Yeah. there's a support table linked there um, that shows, I think Spanish is not there, but um, the, if, you click that, yeah, yeah, if you click that get support button, then um, you have to, because it's we're now reaching the end of my technical knowledge. So this is my um, interpretation of the technical thing that may not be entirely accurate. So with that disclaimer, my understanding is you have to train or is to work in each individual language. And so that needs to be something your home community undertakes as a project to, to be able to enable that support. And then once that support exists, it will integrate into the dashboard, I think automatically, or if not, we can definitely turn that on. Uh, but that is dependent on the work being undertaken by your community too. Um, yeah, in San Sebastián, oh, we were talking with the Euskera community and they mm -hmm. did a great job in training this uh, yes. artist. Yes. And some of them say it's a lot of time. I mean, a lot. So, yeah, <laughs> and, no, and with engineers. And... Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm not oh. sure sort of the, the status of that in, um, in other languages, but it definitely takes time to, to do so. We, we, maybe we could have a section about tools and other practical tips but when we are on the job anyway. Talking about the job, yes, it could become a full-time job if I don't look out in which way we are going to do that. Um, otherwise, I would have to search for a professor who accepts my second PhD thesis about this <laughs> or something like that. So we must somehow look that we will... Um, be thorough and hear a lot of views but still that we will have at, in the end that we will have some result and not over 10 years but uh, over half a year or one year and um, I think we should have some stages and phases and in the end uh, we don't have to make a perfect document we can of course come back the year later or in a couple of years and update it and see what maybe maybe there are new wikimedia projects maybe wiki functions will come will bring us a lot of new ethical uh, dilemmata and then we will see indeed i'm sure it will <laughs> <laughs> okay well we're running up on the end of the meeting here so i wanted to um, thank especially Masab and Zico for their um, their great presentations. I think it was a it was a wonderful opportunity to learn about a very inspiring project and um, an interesting new effort um, more broadly in the movement. And I know Zico will continue to engage on this topic. This is not the one and only time you will hear about it. This will be an ongoing discussion um, in the future months and possibly years. Um, as we work to, to get this to, to happen. Um, on a couple of closing remarks, I just wanted to thank everyone for your time and your participation, your great questions, your engagement on this topic. Um, we, as the user group, like to hold these open meetings every other month-ish, <laughs> um, although our, our schedule sometimes doesn't follow that precisely. Um, but I want to put out a general call. We're always looking for um, people to present as the featured speakers in the open meeting. And so, um, especially those of you who have shown up here today, if you are interested in uh, presenting your own uh, work at a future open meeting, please feel free to reach out to any of us on the board. Um, that is me, Zico, Joao, Philip, or Susanna, and the five of us on the call here. Um, feel free to reach out to any of us and we will be happy to uh, feature the work. We try to make sure we have a diversity of presentations and representation from all over the world and all different types of education programs. Um, so please feel free to suggest um, self-nominate yourself or um, if you know of someone else in the broader Wikimedia movement who you think should be featured on an open meeting, I'm always happy to make an invitation to, to folks. So please feel free to suggest others who um, would be a good fit for this. Um, and with that, I will leave uh, another minute here if there, anyone has any final questions or thoughts. And um, if not, we can wrap up. Susanna? Bye bye. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for all of your attention, everyone. You. And it was it was lovely to have you all join our meeting today. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Good to see you all. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.